dog is the dormant fortune and none of my own. Yes, it's I, I, oh, get along, you little dog. You know that the fairy will be your new home. And now for the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim. In order to put down a serious Indian uprising to the west, government troops had been ordered out of virtually every military outpost in the vast territory of Arizona. The town of Nesbitt was one of those to find itself without military protection. The last troop of cavalry is leaving, and at the doorway to Slater's Palace, a gambling hall, we find Big Jake Slater and his right-hand man, Ed Carlisle. Slater is speaking. There they go, Ed. The last bunch of them. There won't be no more troops in this territory for a long while. Yeah, I guess you're right, Jake. Ed, what does that mean to you? Mean? <laughs> I don't know. Nothing more than losing some trade. Well, to me, it means there ain't gonna be no more law and order in these here parts. Yeah, well, what's that got to do with us? Plenty. Ed, I'm gonna make my own law. I'm going to take over this town of Nesbitt. By the time I'm through with it, it'll be Big Jake Slater's town. Well, that sounds like a pretty big order, Jake. Ain't no order too big for me. I'm going to make a fortune out of this place, and if you're smart, you'll string along with me. I'm going to get you elected sheriff. From now on, it's going to be just too bad for anybody that don't like to do what Big Jake Slater says. <laughs> Several months later, we find Lightning Jim and Whitey Larson riding the trail to Yuma. Their route takes them through Nesbitt. And as they get to within a few miles of this town, Whitey suddenly reins in his horse. Oh, boy, boy. Maybe it's him in a light. Oh, Thunder. What's up, Whitey? What's the matter? Yeah, look, over there. Down in that gully there. Down in what? Oh, I see. You mean that smoke. Yo, uh, that sure looks funny, don't it? Yeah, it sure does, Whitey. Something blazing mighty bad over there. Say, we better see what's up. Come on, Thunder. Come on, Fiddler. Come on, there, boy. Looks like someone's in trouble down there, Whitey. Yo, but from the way that fire seems to be going, I don't think there'll be much help to them. Maybe not, but we'll have to see. Be there in a minute now. Just over this rise. There. There it is. You don't pin him in it. There ain't much left to that man's horse. That's burned right to the ground. Yeah. Look, why did he lay in the other corral? See him? Yo, there's a man on the ground there. Yeah, looks to me like he's either dead or badly hurt. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Easy. Easy. Oh, oh Thunder. Hold oh, him. Hold on, boy. Yeah. A little whitey. Give me the canteen, quick. Yo, he bet. Here you are. Here, partner. Try some of this. Come on now. Here, let me hold your head. Now, I better hold his mouth open, whitey. Hey, oh, I got it. Here, I don't think that's much use, Lightning. He's shot to pieces. Yeah. You can only get him to talk. Uh, hey, he's coming around. Yeah. Yeah. Who done this, partner? Who done this to you? Oh. Slater. Slater's work. Gold. Gone. Oh. Take it easy now, partner. Take it easy. We're with you. Tell. Tell Steve Paradise. Go on, Whitey. You're a poor fella. 
Say, do you think he was trying to tell us that a Jaeger by the name of Slater done this? Yeah, that's what I make out of it. Oh, but what does that paradise mean? And uh, who says thief? That'll come later, Whitey. First, we've got to give this poor Jasper a decent burial. And uh, then... Uh... Then we're going to make it our business to answer them questions. Get the man or men responsible. And we're going to start the minute we hit Nesbitt. <laughs> the town of Nesbitt, like eh? Yeah, and there's the answer to one of the questions we've been wondering about. Now we know what he meant by paradise. Sure, paradise is the hotel in town here. Yeah. Well, are we going right over there and get started? As soon as we take care of the horses, Whitey. Yeah, I wonder where the livery stables is. Should be just down the street ways and never very far. Well, Whitey, it looks like we're doing all right and getting questions answered. Yo, yo, see, I see that too. Yeah. Slater's Palace. Well, so that Jigger runs the gambling hall in this. Yeah, and that ain't all he's running here either. Take a look at the livery stable over there to the right. You don't be in, man. Slater's livery stable. Well, it looks like we're bumping into that Jigger wherever we go. Yeah, and before we leave here, we'll be bumping into him plenty more. Why did the minute we get the horses rubbed down and fed, I want you to go over to the palace. Well, you want me to scout the there? Eh? Yeah, see what you can find out. Get into a card game if you can. Hey, oh. I'm gonna, I'm going over to Paradise and locate this Steve. Between the two of us, we should have a pretty fair idea of what's going on in there. <laughs> Howdy, stranger. Howdy. What can I do for you? Well, maybe you can tell me if there's an hombre around you by the name of Steve. Steve? Yeah. Well, that's my handle. Steve Norton. What do you ask? You don't happen to know a rancher with a small place some miles west of town, do you? Why, my brother Ted's got a place. What's the matter, stranger? Why are you asking all them questions? Is there something wrong with Ted? I'm afraid there is, Norton. What is it? What's happened to him? Well, talk up, man. Norton, I'm afraid your brother's dead. Killed. What? And his place burned to the ground. Ted killed? Yeah. And his place burned? That's right, Norton. That's Slater's work. He's the one that done it. Slater murdered Ted. I'll get that yellow-livered skunk for that. I'll get him if it's the last thing on earth Hold I on do. Hold on there, Norton. Hold on. That ain't gonna get you nowhere. He's pulled his last killing around these parts. I'll blow him to bits of dirty murder. Stop it, Norton. Stop it. Slater will be taken care of, all right. But I'm the one that'll do it. You? What do you got to do with it? I happen to be Jim Whipple, United States Marshal. Jim Whipple? Yeah. Then then you must be lightning, Jim. I've been called that, yes. Now get off this warpath for a minute and listen to me. You're certain that Slater killed Ted, and so am I. But before we can take any action, we got to have proof. I don't need no proof. Slater swore he'd get Ted when he found he couldn't buy that waterhole property from him. And he did. Ever since the troops left Nesbitt, he's been running things as he pleased. Stealing, rustling, murdering. Well, he's all washed up now because I'm going to get him. Yeah, you'll get him all right. But you'll do it by helping me. Norton, I'm telling you straight that I ain't leaving Nesbitt until I get your brother's murderer. And Slater's gang is broken up. Now, do you want to do things my way or will I have to lock you up to keep you out of trouble? All right, Marshal. I'll string along with you. Good. First, answer a couple of questions. Your brother said something about gold being gone. Do you know what he meant? Well, he must have been talking about some dust we panned out of the creek. We were going to use it to buy cattle and finish paying for the hotel here. I see. Now, tell me, how do you stand with the law-abiding citizens in town? Well, most of them are my friends, I reckon. Fine. I want you to contact all the men you can trust. Tell him to be ready for action at any time. Meanwhile, I'm going over to Slater's palace. Norton, you don't have to worry about a thing. I'm going to smoke Slater out of the open and pronto. The park's open, gentlemen. Who's saying? Well, not me. Me neither. Well, I think I'll stay in this one. I'm out. Well, that leaves you and me, stranger. How many cards? Let me see. Let me see. 
Here, love, take one. One card it is. There you are. I am taking three. Well, I opened the pot and I'm betting twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Back then, I can just make it. I'll call you. I am holding three aces, partner. Count them. One, two, three. Well, I'm afraid that beats me. Guess I'll have to quit. Oh, hello, Legend. I didn't see you standing there. Hello, buddy. Yeah, too bad. Better luck next time. What about you, stranger? Want to sit in? No, don't reckon so. When I play cards, I like to get a run for my money. Maybe I didn't hear you right, stranger. You were saying... I said I'd like to get a run for my money. And that's hard to do when the dealer pulls the third ace from the bottom of the deck. But you're saying that I cheated? I am. Don't go for your gun. You dirty liar, I... You reckon that'll teach you a lesson, dealer? With that bullet through your hand, you won't find it so easy to cheat at cards again. Keep your eyes on the rest of them, hombre, buddy. Don't let them start nothing. Oh, I got them covered, all right. They won't get smart. Hey, hey, what's that shooting about? What's going on here? I was just teaching that card shop over there that it don't pay to cheat, not when I'm around. What are they talking about, Ten Spot? Uh, this smart stranger tried to tell me I was cheating, Jake. So you're wet for your gun and he beat you to it, huh? Yeah, he did. And uh, who are you, stranger, button in here and call one of my dealers for chasing? One of your dealers. And I take it you're Slater. Yeah, I'm Slater, all right. And I'm still waiting for an answer. Who are you? My name's Whipple. Jim Whipple. I happen to be a United States Marshal. Sure. A marshal? Yeah. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? I reckon then if you called Ten Spot, you had a reason for it. Ten Spot, you're through. Oh, now, look here, Slater. You I can't. I said you were through. I'll pay you off when I get finished talking to the marshal here. Now, get and leave that money on the table. All right, Slater. All right. Uh, I'm right grateful to you, Marshal, for showing him up to me. I'm running out of health here. Yeah, then you won't mind my deputy taking the money he lost, huh? Why, no, sure not. Pick it up, partner. Pick oh, it up. Oh, you, you bet they will. Don't you worry. How long you expect to be around these parts, Marshal? Oh, I'll be hanging around for a while, I reckon. Well, it's good. If it's anything you want, just call on me. Place is yours while you're in town. Thanks, later. Might take you up on that. Come on, buddy. Let's get back to the hotel. Yo, I'm right with you, like. So that's Lightning Jim, eh? He's gonna stay in town for a while. I think I'll have some plans for him. Hey, Ten Spot. Yes? What is it? Come here. Now, just forget that talk about being fired and get Ed Carlisle over here right away. I got something for him to do. <laughs> You heard me, Ed. Lightning Jim's in Nesbitt. Then what are we hanging around for? We gotta get out of here. Leave this gold mine just because a lawman walked into town? Well, <laughs> Don't be crazy. We're gonna get rid of him. Yeah, but how are we gonna do that? Yeah, you're the sheriff. You're going to the paradise tonight and get talking to him. Yeah? Then somebody's gonna come in and tell you thieves is breaking into the bank. All right, I got you so far, Jake. Now, you get the marshal to go with you. And when you get to the bank, see that he goes in the front door and you go in the bank. You got it? Yeah, but what's all this got to do with getting rid of him? Because when he gets inside that bank, he's got to be met by a reception committee made up of a couple of my best gunslingers. Oh, so that's it, huh? Yeah, that's it. The marshal's going to stay in Nesbitt a while, all right. A permanent little home on the top of Cemetery Hill. <laughs> If it was Jim's idea to get Slater moving, he succeeded all right. But is he prepared for a trap like the one being planned for him? The thrilling second part of the adventures of Lightning Jim will follow immediately.
And now for part two of Lightning Jim Springs a Trap. Lightning Jim and Whitey are on their way to Yuma, Arizona, and to the town of Nesbitt. They learn that Big Jake Slater has been running the town with a free hand since government troops had been withdrawn from the territory. Jim enlists the aid of Steve Norton, the brother of a man they believe was murdered by Slater. Slater learns that Jim is in town and immediately plots with Ed Carlisle, the sheriff, and his right-hand man to trap Jim in a fake bank robbery and kill him. We now find Jim early that same evening talking to Steve Norton in the Paradise Hotel. Tell me, Steve, did you contact them men like I told you? Well, I sure did, Lightning. I got 20 of them that are with us to a man. Good. Reckon the time ain't far off and we'll be needing them. But what's your plan, Lightning? What are you expecting to do? I'm waiting for Slater to make the first move, Steve. Oh, but he's like a copperhead. He... Hold it, Steve. Someone's coming. Well, howdy, Jim. Howdy. Howdy, Carlisle. I take it you're Lightning Jim, stranger. Yeah. Well, I'm Carlisle. Ed Carlisle. Sheriff of the town here. Glad to know you, Sheriff. I just heard you was visiting us, so I <laughs> came in to bid you welcome. Mighty fine of you. I want you to know that you can take things easy while you're here. There ain't a blessed thing for you to do. Ed Carlisle knows how to handle... Sheriff! Sheriff! What's the hurry, Transpot? What's on your mind? I was just passing the bank, Sheriff, and I happened to see you. A couple of hombres going in. Going into the bank at this hour of the night? That's right. Looks funny to me, so, so I went after you pronto. Oh, well, thanks. I'll check into that right away. How about it, Marshal? You want to come along? Sure do, Sheriff. Let's get started. Oh, there you are, Tundra. Plenty feed and water for you. Where well, now? What are you there? Hey, yo, what is it, Steve? I was hoping to find you here at the stables. It's Lightman. I'm afraid he's walking into a trap. A trap, there, yeah. Over at the bank. He was in the hotel. No, no, never mind the talk, Steve. Let's get over there fast. Yeah. Uh, to the right one. Yo, yo. Uh, that way. Do you hear that? No. No, that's all right. It's over, all right. See if they heard lightning. By golly, the people. That... This way, Whitey. Around the back. Uh, that's it. Come on. We got to get there in time. We got to. And, uh, there's the rear door of the bank, Whitey. Oh, I see it. It's it open. Come on, Steve. Drop the gun. Drop it. Did you get him, Whitey? Oh, you bet that it. He, he, he was just going to shoot lightning. Lightning. Lightning, are you all right? It's mighty lightning. He, he, he won't hear me, Steve. Uh, let me see, Whitey. Yeah. It's all right. Oh, just been creased. Oh, Ori, are you sure? Yeah, positive. See, oh. he's, he's coming around. Whitey. Hey, what happened, Lightning? Norton. I'm sure glad to see you. See, why did you do it, Lightning? Uh, Wait till I get to my feet, Whitey. You want to help me? It's enough. Ah, there. See, didn't you know there was a trap? Sure, I knew it was a trap. Why, I went. Uh, see, I, I don't get you, Lightning. If you knew that, then why did you go? But I was trying to get evidence on Slater. Thought maybe I'd be able to get a prisoner that would talk. What happened when you went in? Well, two of them. I managed to get both. When Carlyle come in the back way. Carlyle? Well, who's that? The sheriff and Nesbitt, Whitey. The murdering skunk. He's Slater's right-hand man. The sheriff? Yeah. Before I had a chance to get a bead on him, he shot. Next thing I knew... Two of you were standing over me. Well, then he he's the eager. I shot just as he was going to finish the job. Well, that's pretty... Uh, uh, hey. Yeah, it sounds like one of them's still alive. By golly, that's the sheriff, fella. Well, I thought they'd done a better job than that. Let's take a look at him. See how bad he's hurt. He just shot in the shoulder, that's all. Unconscious, though. Better get him to a dock. See, like in there, look, I was on the floor here beside him. Let me see it, Whitey. Well, a buckskin poke half full filled with gold dust. Must have dropped out of his pocket when he fell. There's initials on it, too. Look like the letters T-N. T-N? Yeah. Lighten, that poke was my brother's. Them letters stand for Ted Norton. Sure about that, Steve? Positive. All the gold dust we had was in pokes with them initials burned on them. And it looks like we're closing in. Check them other two armories, will you? See if they're alive. 
they got any of them folks on them. I sure will, Lightman. Say, uh, do you mean that you think that Carlisle and the other Yeagers did the killing at Norton's Ranch? No, I don't, Whitey, but I think they'll lead us to the one that did. If the mother two have folks like this one, then my spring in this trap did us plenty of good. Yes, yeah, sir, I don't get that, Lightman. You'll see in a little while, Whitey. How about it, Steve? Any luck? They're both dead, Lightman. You were right. Both of them had a poke of dust on them with the same initials. That's fine, Steve. I want you to round up all them friends of yours. See that they get over to Slater's palace pronto. We're going to bring Sheriff Kalile here to trial. Yo, but uh, what good is that going to do us? Uh, Slater's the one we're at. Don't worry about that, Whitey. Time we get through, Slater will be hung for murder. <laughs> Lightning Jim held Sheriff Carlisle prisoner and then set his trial for the murder of Ned Norton. Big Jake Slater appeared in court with ten of his best gunslingers ready to take things in his own hands if the trial went against Carlisle. At a word from Slater, the gunmen were to draw, thus affecting the escape of Carlisle. The trial opens with Lightning Jim telling his story. Well, Judge, I went along with him to investigate. When I got inside, I was ambushed by two gunslingers. I managed to get both of them. But just then, Carlisle came in the back door and blazed away at me. My deputy, Whitey Lawson, come in just in time to stop him from killing him. All right, men, all right now. A little quiet, please. Uh, suppose you tell us your story, Larson. Oh, you bet, yes. Hey, I just got a to... minute, Judge, just a minute. Don't the defendant get a chance to tell his side of the story? Sure, he does, Slater, just as soon as the marshal gets through presenting the evidence against him. Go ahead, Larson. Well, uh, when I went through the back door into the bank, I saw Carlisle there drawing a big gun like the nymph. Oh, I told him to drop his gun, but he wouldn't do it. So I had to shoot him through the shoulder. I guess that's about all. Hmm. Oh. You're sure he was going to shoot the marshal, Larson? Oh, you bet he was. Steve Norton can tell you the same thing. He was right there with me. That's you know. right, Judge. We went into the bank together, and I saw the same thing. If Whitey hadn't been so fast on the trigger, Carlisle had got the marshal's jaw. Quiet, quiet back there. Quiet now. Now, Carlisle, what did you get to say in your own defense? Well, that's what I told the marshal before. In the darkness, I made a mistake, and I thought he was one of the robbers, so I shot at him. It sure is tough when a man gets shot and brought him to court when he's just trying to do his duty. Uh, uh, you see, I knew there'd be some simple reason to explain it, Judge. Carlisle's got a perfect record here in Nesbitt. He couldn't have done nothing like that. Couldn't he, Slater? Judge, we got evidence here that shows he's committed murder before. Murder. 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 It doesn't mean, Marshal. It doesn't mean a thing. No. It does this time, Judge. That poke of dust belonged to Ted Norton. Yes, we all know by now what happened to him. He's got Norton to go. I'm going for the last time. You've got to keep quiet there. You'll have to keep quiet or get out. Marshal, that's a pretty strong statement you just made. Can you prove it? I sure can. This poke and the ones we found on the two men I got in the bank. They've all got Ted Norton's initials burned on them. Yeah, and every bit of gold that Ted and I planned was put in them pokes. I can identify every one of them. Yeah, That's all we need. Get out of here. 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 I told you before. Be quiet. But I... I... I didn't kill him. I didn't. Then you better start talking, Carlisle. That crowd worked up plenty. I'll talk. I'll talk. I'll talk. I'll tell you all about it. But stop him. Don't let him lynch me. Stop him. Stop him. Hold on there, boy. Hold on. The sheriff of court of law. If he's guilty, the judge will see that he gets what he deserves. Let's give him a chance to talk. Thanks, Marshal. All right, Carlyle. What have you got to say? Judge, them folks don't belong to me. Slater gave them to us to kill the marshal when we got him in the bank. All right. He's lying. He's trying to call out something to blame on somebody else. Dr. Goldgood Weasel trying to save his own skin by accusing me. What about it, Carlyle? Can you prove your statement? You bet I can prove it. The rest of the gold he stole from Norton after he killed him is in the strong box in his office. Why, you low down, leaving town. Hold on, there, Slater. Hold on. If he's wrong, there ain't nothing for you to get excited about. Judge, how about having Whitey check on that strong box? That's a good idea, Marshal. 
Will you do it, Larson? Do you bet the bill, you shall be right there. Hey, Marshal, your can takes too far. Just because you're a lawman, don't give you no right to step into this town and run the way you please. All I'm doing, Slater, is getting to the bottom of a killing. Well, you got to it. Crowd out, Jillian. There's no good reason to drag me out of the mess. I'm going to get out of here. All right, men. You know what to do. All right, Steve. Now. Come on, now. Come on. 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 Come all right, you hombres, get over there against the wall. On, you too, Slater. Get over there with the rest of your gang and pass. A couple of you men start getting them guns away from that bun. I had to step in that way, Judge. But as long as I'm arresting Slater for murder and the rest of his crew for aiding a criminal... I guess it's legal enough. It's legal enough for this court, Marshal. Hey, uh, you'll make a big mistake later. I'll worry about that, Slater. Nice and snake in the phone. Them, I found them, all right. The rest of the gold was right there in the strong box like Carlisle said. That's fine, Whitey. Well, Judge, I reckon the case is complete. Yeah, thanks to you, Marshal, it is. Tomorrow, we'll elect a new sheriff and sentence these men properly. Looks to me like law and order are going to return to the town of Nesbitt for good. <laughs> And so ends another thrilling adventure in the lives of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his equally famous deputy, Whitey Larson. Mm -hmm.